cultural goods with neighboring Nigeria. But the region's economy was hit by an Islamist insurgency led by Boko Haram, the militant group that has wreaked havoc in Nigeria. The violence seeped through the porous border into Cameroon, and the insecurity essentially closed down vital transport links between the two countries. Although market activity has resumed in Marua, people say they are struggling to make a living and that they live in fear. The market is no longer what it used to be. We are unable to sell our produce. Our produce is just here rotting. Nothing gets sold. The attacks have made things tough for us. There's produce in the market, but we can hardly afford to buy anything. All of this is because of Boko Haram and their attacks, which have blocked trade and transport. So, now people are scared to come to the market because of fear of the attacks. People no longer come to Maroa market. Boko Haram militants have killed thousands in their bloody campaign to carve out an Islamic caliphate in northern Nigeria, and they have taken their fight outside the country's borders. Neighboring Cameroon, Chad and Niger have all been affected with incursions into border villages and transport routes. The Cameroonian army is using Marua as a base in the fight against Boko Haram. Security is high and patrols are frequent. Many hope that this will help restore confidence in the region's economy. Economic activity is slowly picking up, but things are still expensive and many people can't afford them. But thank God, things are picking up again, little by little. And when you walk around, you can see that things are picking up and that people are once again hopeful that things are going back to normal. But the fight is not over. Neighboring countries affected by the insurgency are now scrambling to find a solution. Still ahead on Network Africa, Comic-Con's fan base increases uh, as it goes all the way to Libya here in Africa. Please join us again.